So we start to heat up the knuckles. They're a little red, but not yet, okay? And so as I was uh, landing my strike, I was landing with the forearm and the wrist straight in line with the knuckle. I didn't hit with uh, like this. So you're trying to stack up all of your joints into the strike. And so all of you is stacked up behind it. But a lot of times in martial art, we don't know what that feels like to endure that pressure. And so, cause this is, this is pressure here at, at the point of impact. And the, the impact goes somewhere. And often it goes to the wrist and you break your wrist. So in training this, this teaches you how to, um, uh, how to, how to punch. Okay. But you have to know what that feels like. Cause at the point of impact, if you break anywhere, you're going to break. So we'll go round two. I'll talk you through it. Even if you come from the side, the, the, uh, the closing is at the shoulder. So that's what we're trying to do. And so now I can already start to feel my knuckles are warm. You should, they should be warm. Pressure is heat. Pressure heats up. So now we begin. So now we bring some blood flow to the knuckles. And so now the next exercise, again, different terrains. We're starting to put micro tears into the tissues. That's why it's red. And so now we have to start to heal this and cool this down. We're gonna do one more set of punches and then I'll show you the next set of push-ups. So you're here, okay? Just shake this out. You can do some squats in between. Move the tension. Don't let tension accumulate here. We're trying to stay relaxed. The tension is from the impact. All right, so here's the next set of push-ups. So it's, uh, it's mud on the ground here, so it's dirt. So it's, so it's soft and it's cold. And so the cold helps to reduce the inflammation. So you put your knuckles to the ground and you start to dig in. And again, just like, just support yourself. It's okay if it's uh, crooked. Just see how your body settles, settles in there. And as you come down, inhale, exhale, as if you're punching the bag, the impact, the, um, as if you just did this to this, but it's a different, uh, different terrain than the bag itself because the bag is canvas and it fucking hurts. So you have to do again, hot and cold. And so now we start to put, put some protection on there some dirt don't rub that off keep that on there because this is like a as if you had a glove over it and now we go back to the bag so now we'll go to the elbow first before we go to the to the wrist same concept as you as you uh, hit the bag, you're trying to you're trying to stack up all of your weight behind it.
see that? Pipe. Same thing. It's not violent. Pipe. But it can be. So now you do what we did to the hands to the elbow. We'll come back here. And the impact is what uh, cleans the mud off. So now, different terrain, I'm going to go back on the mulch. It's not as hard as the canvas, but it is kind of sharp. And so we'll do push-ups here. And consider you're just cycling through different elements, wood, stone, which is probably metal, uh, water, which is in the mud, earth, and the impact itself is fire. So this is a little five element uh, bone conditioning here. So you leave that on there. You can go back to the mud. We'll do another set of push-ups in the mud. Here, and you can see actually my knuckles, whoops. My knuckles are ingrained into the are formed into the mud. So you're trying to... So now in this one, roll your hand like this. And so you're just on the knuckles. See? And now I'll do a push-up. It's a little tougher to balance on the knuckles there. Tuck your tailbone, get long. Elbows to the ribs. A little shakier. Okay, again, don't rub that off yet. Keep that on there. So now we'll go back to the bag. And you just cycle through this. And you put inflammation into the, into the hands. shoulder here. how you forge your body and get strong but have fun with it So, you go back and forth. Uh, a week ago, I'll post the picture. When I was doing this, I split my knuckles open without, without that many strikes. And this time around, my, the skin toughened up. It healed, but I didn't split my knuckles open. And I was able to actually strike a little bit better today. But, uh, So now, now we'll do some qigong for the joints, for the small joints. So you always have physical exercise. That's what we just did. <laughs> That's physical. But we can't neglect the neurological. There's electricity flowing through here as well. And that's what creates the fine motor of the fingers. But if we damage the physical tissues, 
or also uh, potentially harming the, the nerves, the, the chi flow, the nerve flow down to your fingers. So now we just did something explosive. And so now we'll cycle through uh, just a qigong set. I kind of make it up as I go, but it's just combined. I just cycle through different movements of different sets and just kind of piece them all together. And so you can follow along. This is just a qigong set. It's based off of eight, uh, eight brocades, but 